Well, well, what has the cat dragged in today? It's a video tutorial on Plinko. This is a continuation of my simple tutorial series where we take a basic idea, implement it in Unity, and do it in such a way that someone with very limited experience can get it created, you know, a day, maybe a two days worth, worth of uh, solid effort. In this particular case, we are going to be recreating the game of Plinko. I uh, think uh, the game in Price and Right, The Price is Right, where they drop the disc. Only here we have a little ball that we can move back and forth. And then we can click or press the control key and to release it. And it will not always release the same direction every time. So to sort of represent the randomness of trying to perfectly release something, which is not going to happen, generally speaking. And the goal is to get it into every slot, which is sometimes easier said than done. As evidenced by my apparent inability to get it into this last slot, there we go. And we get this little you win displayed here once we've managed to hit all the goals. So that is what we are going to be creating for this project. What are the requirements? What are the assumptions going into this? As far as assumed Unity knowledge is concerned, if you have gone through the previous tutorial and done the Meteors project with the ship and the asteroids, then you're good to go. If not, what I assume that you're capable of is that you know the Unity interface, you're capable of switching through the windows, adding, removing as necessary, that you can create and manipulate game objects, that you understand how to parent game objects to others. You can create assets, such as these materials here and that you have a super basic knowledge of C Sharp. You can create a script, you can attach it to a game object, and you can type along and follow along with some very basic logic. That is all that is assumed. As far as resources required for this, the only resource required is going to be a background image of some sort. Now, in my case, I have done a search for NASA space images, and I've chosen to use this rather pretty nebula here. And if I click on that nebula, it takes me to this page on NASA's site. And I can verify that, yes, indeed, this is credited by NASA. Clicked on the image again to get it opened up. It's a nice big image. And so you need to get this into Unity. You know, save it directly into your Unity file structure save it to a regular downloads folder and drag it into your project, import it in using Unity's asset import. So you can, you know, right click, uh, import new asset and navigate to where it is, however you want to get it in there. Now a quick note on this. Keep in mind that just because you can find something using Google image search doesn't mean that you're allowed to use it. This is why I'm going with NASA. It is a U.S. government agency. Any materials that it publishes is considered public domain. And so I know I'm in the clear using this image. It's coming from NASA's website. The image is credited to NASA. I know I am allowed to use this. Now, does it really matter for a project that's never going to see the light of day that you're only going to maybe show to a couple of friends or family or something like that. Honestly, no. No harm, no foul, right? Very few people are going to see the usage of the material. But the moment you go to publicly display this, like say you're going to upload the project to itch.io, at that point you must be respectful of the rights of the other creatives that are out there on the internet. Make sure that you have permission to use an image. And if requested, and especially if not requested, give people credit for the images that you use. 
And as far as to what we will be creating, if we go into my demo folder here, you can see we'll be creating a scene, three materials, a physics material, and three different C Sharp scripts. Again, nothing major, fairly straightforward. And that pretty much does it for the setup. I would go through my usual like thumbs up, thumbs down, like, you know, dislike thing here, but it's a setup video. I mean, if it really floats your boat to hit the buttons, go ahead and hit them. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.